12 high, no problem. You can't. <laughs> You're all alone in a fantasy So wake up with just the fun On with an end goal And I, I don't mind, I don't mind That I left you behind It's a sad day today. It's a sad day. Not that sad, but it's a little sad. It's a little sad day today. Mainly because of the fact that, as you guys can tell by the title, we are no longer riding NV Union Bars. I've been riding these bars for the past, what, five-ish years now? This specific pair is the NV Union Titanium Bar. Probably one of my favorite bars ever, ever made. I've been riding this, just this handlebar. Not, not the tie bars in general. This one handlebar for like eight months, which is, ridiculously long for a handlebar. Um, I have another set of these that I'm kind of saving, but these ones are still okay. But the reason I'm saying goodbye to these is because of the fact, I hope I don't get any sap on my grips because those are still pretty good. Hang on a second. <laughs> Envy just released a brand new handlebar. It is a T-bar and I've loved riding T-bars ever since I started scootering. I rode T-bars for the longest time and I was a huge, huge supporter of that style of bar because that's what I learned on. That's what it, that's all there was when I started scootering there. We didn't have any of this like flavor. We didn't have Reaper V2s, V3s. We did not have this stuff. We only had T-bars and Envy just released their new Thermal V2 bar. And the reason I like this bar so much is because one is a chromoly bar. It's a chromoly bar. It's steel, right? But it's super light because it's what's called butted. Let's go show you guys the bars really quick. Here are the Envy Thermal V2s. New box, new whole nine yards. And if you open these things up, these things look so freaking sick. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you guys what that term means, butted. What does that mean? You can see it right here. It's a 4130 thermal treated butted bars. They're 2.2 pounds. The bar is 2.2 pounds pre-cut, of course. So if you do cut them, it can be a little bit uh, lighter. No slit, um, but you see this sticker right here? This is gonna be an e a really easy way to explain this. It says only cut below this line. With every other scooter bar on the market, you can cut your bars wherever you want. If you want to ride a bar that's 12 high, no problem. You can't. <laughs> we'll go to another spot because this guy over here did like. <laughs> <laughs> that was the loudest tape. The reason you can't cut below this line is because there are certain parts of this bar that are thicker than others. So for example, this part of the bar is not as thick as it is right here because this is where your bars are going to bend first when it comes to like a serious bend, right? So the thicker parts like right here, it's thicker right here on these bars as opposed to at the end over here. So. The, the material kind of does like almost like a little bit of a wave sort of thing if you want to think of it like that. But the reason that they do that is because it keeps it lightweight where it needs to be. So it shaves off quite a bit of weight. So these bars are wildly light for a chromoly bar. Now another thing that these bars come with, which is kind of nice, is they come with the grips. Pre-installed NVTPR grips. You kind of have this thermal um, logo right here underneath the clear grips, which I think is sweet. And you have the nylon bar ends, which are also come with the bars. Um, they come in at plenty tall, plenty wide. I'm not gonna give you guys the exact dimensions. If you guys wanna know the exact dimensions and um, all of the specs of these bars, you guys can check them out at thescooterzone.com where you should get every other one of your scooter parts. But um, this, particular color this is pretty sweet dude yeah i love that color that's my favorite one it's kind of like a blue look here get kind of close on here it's kind of like a blue with like a uh, somewhat of like a reddish and a gold glitter to it so you can see it when i kind of turn it you can see that light but from a distance it kind of looks like a just like a slate blue i guess is the right term um they do have a couple of other colors in these bars they have uh, a normal gray as well as a black so you can check them out here's the normal kind of gray look right but this one is is more of like a more of like a purplish kind of gray like kind of now that i opened it and, and have it in my hands oh, it's, like it's kind of sick dude i actually I, I think i still like this color but this is really sweet you like this one more looks more like a matte gunmetal i really messed it 
Garrett likes this one because it's a little more like a, a matte gunmetal. Gun. We are gonna throw these blue bars on my scooter right now, and I'm excited to take these over to the skate park and let you guys know kind of what they feel like. So let's get over to Cal Oaks and get a sesh. All right, so we made it over here to the skate park. Uh, first thing, bars look pretty sick on the scoot. I like the clear grips and it has this little, this little thermal logo right here. It's kind of interesting, it's just something I'm not used to. Um, I haven't ridden clear grips in a while because sometimes like the compound's a little odd. First review, like first impression is, one, I think I cut my bars too short. Not good. <laughs> I'm here, so it is what it is. Uh, let's start it off with just like a little transfer from the five foot quarter pipe to the eight foot quarter. And we'll do a uh, we'll do a double whip over this box. All right, dropping in. Uh, let's see how these things feel. I have not ridden T bars in quite a while, so I am uh, pretty excited to be back on them. And oh my gosh, I miss this. I miss this a lot. The bar spins, boys. The bar spins. This is what I missed right here because I like doing bar spins on the inside of my bars. Like on the inside of my right grip is where I like my hand to be. I've said this in my vlogs before. Having that feeling back. It's weird, but I know what it feels like. And, I, and it's more natural than having like the little dip in there. What's up, man? How are you? Good. Come cruise a little bit? Yeah. My man. Uh, let's do trip whip over the hip. We'll do just a bry on the eight for now and then 270 downhill coming back. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm not too crazy about this bar short thing at the moment, but I guess this is something I gotta get used to again. For those of you guys that are wondering what that noise is, it's my wheels. These wheels were used when I actually put them on, but it's okay. They're rolling and that's what we need. How do you, what you got? What kind of tricks you got? Uh, all I have is like dropping in. Dropping in? Can you drop in to, like, can you jump into this one? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. What's your name? Jason. Jason, nice to meet you. Woo! Did a little wheelie down. All right, how about this? Let me see you drop into that one and then just do a little bunny hop out of this one. Our boy Jason's dropping in, down the rolling. Oh, oh, just ran out of speed, just a little bit. Try putting your feet a little further back like this. If you put your feet up here, you get crowded. Keep them like a little further back like that. Let me see you do that really quick. Oh, you're right there, dude. Get that foot back. Here, let me show you, come here. See how that See how that foot is right there? Put your foot back on like you just had it. You don't want your toe bending like that. Keep your foot back a little bit and turn it like that. There you go, there you go. Huh. Oh. ah. Oh. Just some more practice, give me some, my dude. Bars are feeling good so far. Let's get a line right here. We'll do double finger whip on the hip, right whip on the eight, and we'll do 270, let's do 270 turn down coming back because I don't really do those that much. The short bars might help me a little bit on this one just because I don't have to pull my scooter up as far, so maybe this is a good thing. It's weird because this is actually my opposite double finger whip. Uh, the tail whips go the same way, but I finger whip with my left hand, so heel whip is like my natural. So this is super weird, but we'll see, see if we can get it. All right, heading over. Sweet. And two seconds turn down. Boom, all right. I kind of did like, I just got grip tape on that one. A little bit of that. Thankfully, I, I wear gloves. So my fingertips are still here. Let's go. Call me a trick, Jason. Since I told you to do a trick, you gotta get, uh, tell me to do a trick. Bride double whip on the eight. Bride double on the eight? You got it. All right, Jason wants a bride double. Oh, golf cart. Jason wants a bride double, so we're gonna do T-bog on the way over the box, whip bar on the hip, then we'll bride double for you, okay? All right, for our boy Jason, drop in it, get the T-bog, whip bar, bride double. Oh! I screwed it up, Jason. Screwed it up. Let's try it again. What up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, hang in. Quentin. Raymond, nice to meet you, man. All right, Jason, here we go. Oh, just getting one foot on Jason. Jason called the trick that's gonna be the nemesis for the day. No, no, no. I gotta lay in your first trick that I'm hating right now first. Stupid bride double. Finally, golly, <laughs> stupid trick. I just had to talk crap on it on the way. That was the problem. Thanks for calling me in line and give me a real workout. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting a photo with our boy right here. Thank awesome, you. Thank you. sweet, no problem. All right, let me do your kick list for you really quick because I know you're not gonna let that go, just like everybody else that watches this channel. Hey, shorter bars make it easier to kick list, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, you want some stickers, dude? Let's see if I can double throw bar up this. I wonder if you guys can see the clear 
grips when they spin around. Let me know in the comments below if that's hard to see, if it messes with your eyes, because this like colorway is obviously the same. Not to mention, this matches the floor way too well. We got stickers for our boy. <coughs> All right, bro. Bam, there we go, dude. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. You want some, my guy? Thank you for saving the bug. <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> There you go, Jason. You're welcome, man. All right, I want to test out the upside downness of these bars, even though it doesn't make a huge difference when it comes to your handlebars, but it does when your bars are shorter. <laughs> when you're an idiot and you cut your bars half an inch too short, that's when you kind of start to screw yourself. But let's try to do, uh, let's just do a flip double. We'll turn around, we'll, I haven't done the front scoot yet, so let's do a front scoot. We'll feeble bar out, and then, I don't know. Jason, give me another trick, quick. Smith. Smith. Okay, he wants a Smith, so we'll do a Smith somewhere. I'm doing it in the line, all right, Jason? We'll Smith the eight for him. It's gonna be more of a stall, but hey, call it good. I start off with that flip double. Now we gotta get the front scoot. You ready, Jay? Jason's ready. Oh, that made it really easy. Shorter bars, I forgot about that with front scooter flips. Now we got a Smith for Jason. We'll do it on the eight for him, like we said. Little grind right here. We'll do a little, uh, we'll do a, a heel whip on the hip. Get the Smith for our boy Jay. Good? Yes, got approval. All right, so all in all, I think these bars are doing pretty good. What I'll probably end up doing, just so I don't have to bend forward as much, is I'll probably end up putting a little spacer right here, because I have one right here, because I don't run a headset cap. And then I'll put another one on top of that. It's gonna put a little bit more stress on my fork, but I'm okay with that, because I'd rather my bars be taller, because I, mean, I get forks for free. So if I snap one, it's not the end of the world. Unless they snap and I go forward, then it is the end of the world. Maybe not the world, just the session.